Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. In our last video we showed you how to do variable products. The one before that we did simple products and we showed you how to add product categories. I've just done exactly the same and put a few more products in, giving them some categories like all-in-one laptops, desktops and brand names, Mac, Dell, HP, etc. So let's go ahead and create some brand pages. So let's go and add a new page. Top, hit the little plus icon down here, down a new page. And we're gonna call this one desktops. And I wanna use the Elementor with this today so I'm going to go down to our page attributes. If it's not open, just hit the little arrow. And I want to use the Elementor full width, which will allow us to use the full width of the screen with Elementor. Now I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor. And it loads the Elementor console here. And here are our widgets on the left hand side here. Here's the free ones. Here's some pro ones. There's some great pro ones, but we're gonna try and make this whole site with the free ones. And here is some general ones. So the first thing I wanna do is just add some products. So I'm gonna use a text module for that. You could use a code module, but I'm gonna use a text module. Simply left click, drag and release once it's where you want it to be. Now WooCommerce comes with a bunch of short codes and here's a great page for short codes and I'll put this link down below and in this page I want a product category so I'm gonna steal this bit of code here product category category and the name of the category you can choose to select how many rows and columns you got and how many products per page but as I haven't got that many products in each category I'm just gonna take the category and category name then of course I'll have to put a square bracket on the end there so control C to copy back to our page and I'm going to paste it in instead of this dummy text there and like I say I want to add a square bracket on the end there to close that out now sometimes they display here sometimes they don't but they will display on the regular page now I've got no category of clothing, so I need to put one of my category names here. So I've got laptop, with the name of my laptop categories. So let's update that and take a look. Sometimes they'll appear here, sometimes they won't, but they always appear on the front end, which is the most important part. To preview the changes, just hit the little eyeball next to the update button down here. And there we have it. It's put my little laptops in there. Okay, I'm not sure that I like the way that's displaying. I might give it a bit more space. So let's go back in here and I'm going to make this full width. So I'm going to go into the section, which is the blue tab right here. And under layout, you'll see content width boxed. I'm going to change that to full width. Now update and preview the changes page will update there we go that's looking better it's taking up all the screen which is nice a bit more like our shop and it's got all, all of our laptops in there well let's give it a heading and then we can duplicate this page and make one for desktops and all-in-ones and then we can add it to the menu here so I want to add a new section little plus button here on the section tab left click there's our new section I'm going to create a heading so let's go back to our little matrix up here that will bring our widgets back bring a heading in and funnily enough I'm going to call it laptops just select the text or you can do it in the box wherever you prefer and let's put that in the middle you've got left middle right and justified now I'm just going to leave that for a minute I'm going to decorate our section here's the section tab just left click on the middle bit and you can see it says edit section let's go to the style and give it a background color you've got color gradient video or slideshow now if you want an image background it can just be a slideshow with one image so I want a gradient 
Now I guess I'll use the colors I used in my logo there, which are blue and red. So top color, let's put in blue. Bottom colors are already got red. I'm pretty sure it's the red I want. That's fine. Fantastic. And last thing I want to do is put a bit of box shadow at the bottom. So let's go down to border. And there's box shadow right there. Just going to click that to on and it's added it. Fantastic. So let's go back in here and edit our title text. Edit heading. And I want to go to style. Typography. First I want to do color. I'm going to make it white. Then we'll go into the typography and I'm going to make it all caps. So that'll be transform uppercase. And I'm also going to add a bit of text shadow. If I click off of there, there's the text shadow. I'm going to adjust it so it's a little more prominent. So I'm going to make the color actually black. I'm going to put the blur up a little bit more. You'll see it more when we exit out. And I can put the horizontal and vertical offset up a bit more. So we'll update that. If I click off of that, now you can see the box shadow or the text shadow I should say a bit better. So we're good to go. Let's update that and preview our changes. And there we have it. There's our little laptop page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a template and I'm going to create one for desktops and all in ones. So to do that, go down to your update button. There's a little save options there. Save as template. I'll call it prods for products. And there it is. I spelled it wrong, but that's okay. I know what it is. We can close that out now. Now I'm going to go back to our dashboard. I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call this desktops. Just realized the laptops page I called desktops. That's okay. <laughs> I'll do another one and we'll change the name on the other one. So we'll call this one desktops. I want to edit with Elementor again. So I want to use full width. I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor. Now I'm going to go over to my little folder here. And here's where you can add templates. And you've got my templates. And there's the one we just saved. I'm going to go ahead and insert. I'm going to say no to this. If you're not sure, always say no because you can export these to other sites. And if you want them to overwrite the styles of the other site, you say yes. So be careful with that yes. If in doubt, always say no. And suddenly we've got a page full of content. So I need to just change the writing on here from laptops to desktops. And for our short code in here, I just need to change that from laptop to desktop. And there we have it. It's put in our little desktops for us. Fantastic. And I'm going to do exactly the same, create one for all in ones. I'll pause this while I do that because you know how to do all this now. And then we'll create a quick menu. Okay, so I've just done the all in ones. And there they are. Let's go to our pages. And let's create a quick menu and make our shop the home page. And that'll do for this video. So let's go down to appearance. Now I've made the pages. I'm going to go to menus. create first menu let's give it a name I'm just going to call it main and I'm going to add all-in-one desktops laptops 
I guess we could add my account. And we'll have cart. And we'll have the shop. Add to the menu. And as you can see, it's added them all to the menu. Now you can left click and drag them and put them where you want. Put shop at the top there. That's fine. Save our menu. Now we need to assign it. So if we go to our customizer, hit the customize right here. We can go to menus, view all locations, and it's desktop horizontal menu. And of course we want that for the mobile menu also. And there you can see it's put in there, shop all in one, desktops, laptops, my account and cart. Now, we don't want this generic page as a front page. For the time being, let's put our shop page as the front page. And we'll be creating a new front page that's a lot more interesting as we go along. So if we go back, we can go to home page settings, a static page choose the page I want it to be the shop page so let's grab that one there we go and that'll do it for now let's publish and check out the site visit the site so we've now got our home page with a shop with all of our products on it we've got an all-in-one page we got a desktop page. We got a laptop page. Got an account page, which will ask you to log in. And you've got your cart page. I don't think I've got anything in my cart at the moment. No, carts. Oh, yes, I have got one thing in there. Great. Okay, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey.